So, last night my friends and I had our uh, belated white elephant holiday party, and um, so what I walked away with from the party is this bizarre thing. This does appear to be some sort of uh, pole dancing leopard. Uh, based on the tag, it seems to be from a Chinese company uh, called Occasions TM, and it really, really works. <laughs> to my girlfriend's eternal amusement behind the camera, this is uh, how I am apparently celebrating the post-holidays with this thing. But uh, more fascinating to me is the fact that uh, underneath the skin there's not really a whole lot uh, going on there, so... I think this would be more fun to actually uh, de-skin and just have a weird robot stripper instead of uh, Snagglepuss's cousin as a stripper. So let's bust this thing open. First things first, there's Velcro here we can e that can easily be undone. That shows the battery pack and the robot torso. Um, but I think we're gonna have to actually cut to get this skin all the way off. And honey, if you don't have scissors... You can stab if you want, babe. That's totally fine with me. We can use the dangerous material. Yes! That's a whole new meaning to the try me on the tag there. <laughs> Kids, do not try this at home. Adults, go crazy. By the way, I think I legally count as a cooking channel now. <laughs> Old as I tear with my mighty strength. Oh, look at those wires. And yes, the head appears to be just like attached on a spring there. Mm -hmm. um, there we go. That is one leg completely off, leaving just a foot. This tear going. It's the scarf that intrigues me about the, about the pole dancer's <laughs> getup. It's a classy lady who's doing this. It's a very festive scarf dancer. Now that she's showing more skin, let's see if it still works. Yep. <laughs> Boy, her hips really don't lie. <laughs> It's somehow even more disturbing the more you like in this half skin state. Like, I'm not sure if this really was under ten dollars. So there's a lot of stuffing to keep the uh, arms and stuff to make it look like a lady. Shh. I knew this stripper padded. <laughs> it's time once again for our old friend, Mr. Knife. Mr. Knight, do 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 Mr. Knight, do 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 Mr. Knight, do 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 Mr. Knight. Thanks. Now we'll go viral. <laughs> See, kids, this is what happens. We don't have content planned. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when your two jobs are keeping you too busy to make real videos. <laughs> okay. Status update. Burn it with fire. This is why I moved out here, right? <laughs> this is what you come to California for. Oh, we got one arm <laughs> oh, detached. Oh, heck yes. Heck yes. So, so the hand is just attached to the pole independent of any uh, features. Mm -hmm. um, like, like the, the hand is basically all just fluff. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, oh no. You know, this is how they got those droids for the Star Tours queue. Because they disassembled one of these guys. So the actual mechanics and the animal are now separate entities, although there are still wires attached to something in here. Ah! Now it's rock and sock and strippers. <laughs> I wonder if we can change the soundtrack. I bet you. 
Okay, let's see let's see what this is attached to. Yeah. God, this episode of L1 Friends has gotten really weird. Oh. oh, I see. This is attached to the uh, button. Oh, look. Magic. Now. <laughs> so I was wrong. It's not completely removed from the mechanics because the button is deep inside this hand. So... I need to get this arm open without damaging the wires in order to... Uh, You think this is the stripper that T.I. was in love with? <laughs> I'm actually surprised you knew that reference. My boyfriend, ladies and gentlemen, was born 90, in case you didn't know. Yes, but I know songs as long as Weird Al did a parody of them. Alright. <laughs> Even if it was unreleased. I mean... <laughs> okay, so here's the button that actually makes it happen. And it is... Attached on with strings. I got no strings to hold me down. So you have the button. There we go. It was sewn to the hand. There we go. Okay. So long, Trixie. The important thing is now we have a puppet of a uh, strangely sensuous leopard. <laughs> I'm curious if her cousin was the cool cow that we saw over at the Turkey Hill Experience. Oh yeah. And we have a robot in pink booties. So Tom Servo's cousin. In the not too distant future. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> We'd be very sad if you cut yourself doing this. But think of the hits. <sighs> there are dumber ways to die than this, babe. You're almost free, lady. <laughs> So now that we've got her off, what are we doing next for our DIY channel challenge? And if we had real scissors in the apartment, which we might, but I'm too lazy to look for them. All right. Now let's turn this back on and see what it does. You are picking a fight with that pole, my yeah. robot friend. I've always been fascinated by limited motion animatronics. Like, mm -hmm. animatronics that really have a very small range of motion, but use that effectively for the character they are portraying. Mm -hmm. So in this case, like, this really only has a couple of points of swivel that it just yeah. repeats and backtracks and stuff, but uh, for the effect of a weird novelty animal pole dancer, it is, uh, it is effective at what it is going for. When you contrast from things like the rocket raccoon animatronic in, uh, in, in Mission Breakout, which of course has a million points of articulation, but even that, like for the full rocket character effect, there's the main rocket animatronic you see, but then there's also before that, just Rocket's tail and Rocket's arm at different mm -hmm. points to make it look like he has an even bigger range of motion than he does. So, obviously, uh, this toy was not created uh, to craft the extensive sort of narrative that a Disney animatronic is created for, but, I don't know, the principles are always the same, where it's basically just, let's work within our resources to most efficiently craft the experience we're going for. In this case, the experience of a purple leopard pole dancing. There, I made this about theme parks, so it counts. So whoever brought this to the white elephant left before I opened it, but I think it was John Barry. So I am uh, very appreciative of this, John, if it was you. Um, and if not, I'm very appreciative of whoever it was, but, uh, I hope you understand why I had to kill it. Weird flex, but okay. Join us next week for a scripted video.
Yes, Marie Kondo, this thing does spark joy. <laughs>